my god, it's so nice. Good morning. It is bright and early on Monday morning. Oh, it's not even 8.30 yet. And I have a project that I need to get over to Dior this morning. Hold on. Actually, I just put you down and then I was like, let me film my stories first because I need to leave to go spinning in 15 minutes. You know, I'm one of Dior's ambassadors and I have a very exciting, like exclusive thing for my followers, which I need to film and put up on my Instagram stories today because today is the 9th and it's the 9th of September, which is also the 9th and their lipstick that I'm telling everyone about is the 999 lipstick. <laughs> so it's actually really exciting. Maybe I'll tell you here also because it's literally just for my followers and it's an amazing, amazing gifted purchase. I love gifted purchases. <laughs> so why I'm filming these stories so early this morning is because I have an exclusive gifted purchase just for my followers, which is this incredible Dior makeup bag. It's a gorgeous red and it has this CD star zip on it. It's kind of like this faux suede as well with like glossy Dior on it. It's so beautiful. It's huge. Look at the size of it in comparison with my hand. And also, not just that, you also get this mini lipstick in the shade 999, which is the shade I'm wearing now. It's their iconic shade. And I love mini lipsticks, so that's just so exciting for me, especially to be able to give you guys something exclusive just for following me. And if there are any left, I will leave a link down below. Basically, I think you just order something from the Dior website and you get this and this free as a gift of purchase, which is amazing, especially as it's just for my followers. I think it's the code Amelia X Dior 999 and it's such a beautiful beautiful makeup bag so i'm really excited that you guys will be able to get your hands on these especially if you want to order something from dior and if you do by the way <laughs> just drop that if you do let me know and send me pictures of what you order because i'm curious all right quickly took off my makeup did like a little garnier micellar sweep 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 and now i'm going spinning i'm trying out the new soul cycle studio i haven't been spinning in ages probably since lives hen and that was like more of a joke spin class but i saw i was on the website i was like do i do i not book and then it was like 2000s r b hip-hop class or something and i was like okay that i can do if i can sing along and i know it's not gonna be like house music like do 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 then uh, i'm up for that if i get, if there's like a little bit of r kelly or something or like dilemma you know i'd be so up for that it's already like jumper weather in london it's so funny because it's like i think it's like 17 or 18 degrees or 19 and in spring when it's like gets to that weather you're like oh my god i cannot wait to wear a dress <laughs> in autumn it's like okay let me put on a jumper but i should be there soon it says three minutes until i get there i've got my little google maps up got a little change of clothes in my bag because we're going for brunch afterwards this bag i absolutely love look how cute it is it's a bit of a like chanel dupe but they've kind of put your initials on it dupe i would say the chanel deville deville tote which i absolutely love i do really want to get that someday but this is amazing it's 100 pounds and i can't remember how much i think it's 10 percent goes to a dog charity as well which is so cute and you can choose your colors and everything here i will leave a link to it down below as well today what else is on the agenda today yeah we've got brunch afterwards i need to sort out my life monday is always a sorting out life kind of day but i kind of after water skiing in summer sorry my face is like itchy for some reason i really want to start every day with exercise or at least like a walk or something i just felt so good waking up going mono skiing every day that i want to start my day with a with a kick well it looks like i haven't even left but really I did actually go into that spin class, but they don't let you take your phone in at all. Like I was walking into the actual class with my phone and someone took it from me and I was kind of, actually, yeah, I was like so nervous to give her my phone. I was like, I might never see my phone again. And then <laughs> and when I came back to the top, I was like, I have a phone with it. Did text. we come back? Was he texting? Oh my God, I'm hiding my phone next time and bringing it in. What did you think? Honest opinion on Soul Cycle. It was good. It, she was great. Yeah. It wasn't super hard, but it was yeah. It was fun I'm and like I'm not energy majorly drinks. convinced. It was good. I enjoyed it. But I wasn't like, oh my God, amazing. She was great. 
and I like the she music. was good the music was good as well good hip hop we're going to a riding house cafe now for a little bit of brunch it's, yeah I'm so sweaty it's absolutely grim today and me and Liv are like in our sunglasses looking like total divas as if there's like literally not a bit of sun at all <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's all looks amazing. I'm so excited. So Thank you, that's mine. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, I have smoked salmon avocado coming. <laughs> what else do we have? Thank you. It's cold. I have a red nose. Good morning. I'm having a very chilled start, but I have a few packages that I wanted to unbox. Um, normally I do unboxing on Pia's here this morning as well, by the way. <laughs> unboxing on my IGTV, but I felt like today I wanted to unbox it on YouTube because I have two clothes things. People always ask about these pictures. Maybe I'll show you them. This was my sister and my mum and I in New York. I think it was like a couple years ago or something. No, it wasn't. I lie. Look at my hair. It was so orange. That was pre-Despina, which must have been like five or six years ago. Uh, actually, that was, yeah, four years ago. <laughs> Up here, I'm standing on this little stool. Look how cute! Oh, that's Hannah. That's my dad and I riding. Me on a horse. <laughs> Skiing. <laughs> Don't look very confident there. Look how cute Hannah is! And then that's us messing around in the country. So, as you guys may have seen on my Instagram stories, I did a masterclass and masterclass. I was going to say an event. A masterclass with Becca Cosmetics and Nikki, um, who's Nikki Makeup on Instagram, and oh my gosh, all the products she used on me that I hadn't tried before from Becca, I just needed. Like, you know, you put something on your face and you're just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So, they kindly sent me some products that I just was dying over, basically. The first one was this Weightless Blur foundation. I put this on, I think it was like around 4 p.m. I went out that night, I went out for dinner, and then I went out for drinks afterwards, got home maybe around one, and my skin, it just feels incredible on the skin. It just, oh my gosh, it really did like blur over everything. I just instantly, instantly fell in love with it. I kind of forget sometimes like foundations, I either fall in love with them straight away or like, if I don't, it's a really big thing. It's a first love foundation in that category for me it's not like a building love affair you know so anyway, <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> i wanted to shade olive which is not what i'm wearing today obviously because this just arrived but i like the foundation a little bit darker than my skin tone the other thing was the under eye brightening corrector nikki said that this has like reflecting pigments or something in it that make your under eye look brighter yeah it was like her yes, or something sir. something she kept like saying that. it in this like really soothing voice <laughs> Okay. Anyway, it's just like a peach under eye corrector. Normally, I use the tart one. I finish maybe about six or seven of the tart ones, and I just finished one. So I'm excited to try this instead. And then lastly, with the, with these drops, these are the Glow Silk Highlighter Drops. Now I love liquid products. I didn't used to. I used to find them like really intense, especially when I had acne and stuff. But these, I'm just gonna do some on my hand and not spill them everywhere. But I think they're okay. They are like next level highlight. Like when Nikki was patting this into my skin, I was like, holy moly, moly moles. <laughs> Look how incredible that is. I mean, you could make it much sheerer if you wanted to, but oh my gosh, Amazing. so cool. So I'm so excited about those three products. Like I love, oh, I love Becca, I'm so excited. Okay, let's move on to Lucy Nagel, who reached out to me on Instagram, and I have heard about her brand before, it's like a cashmere brand, and she asked me if I wanted to try anything. Okay, she says, Dear Amelia, I hope this suits you and keeps you nice and cozy for the winter. Love, Lucy. Okay. Then she had, oh, a good old cashmere, like, one of those things that gets from the bottles. Oh my God, I've never oh. seen that before. What a pretty color. 
Oh, this is so nice. This is her aubergine slouchy rib sleeve cashmere jumper. Cute, right? Nice. I love these sleeves. I feel like they'll be really cool and different. She also has one that I was eyeing up that's off shoulder as well, and it's all soft. I think they're um, made in the UK as well. So that is lovely, very exciting. Okay, this is Givenchy. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. And Tardy. Ow. That moment in the day when you think you've broken a nail. It's like the whole day could go to Me up. five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this fragrance. Ooh, this is better than the other one. I spray it on me. I'm really wearing that one too. Ooh, I like this one. This is better. Last year they had Lantern D, but I prefer this one. Oh, this is like a Lantern D flower version, basically. It smells nice. It's a, new, it's a new one. It smells much lighter, less, um, more useful, let's say. Right, so the last parcel is Misha Lounge. I literally was wearing their jumper this morning from uh, last season. Their stuff is so great. It's just really, really cozy and comfy. Let's see. Hope you enjoy your newest sets. Ooh. Well, this is fun. Cute knit vest top with trousers oh nice Ooh, cool don't know if i'm edgy enough to pull this off we'll have to see <laughs> it's like a set and then we have oh a little cardigan oh this would be great as a little dress actually so long <laughs> of course you turn it into a dress <laughs> I couldn't because the slit would be like, hello. <laughs> 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 yeah, and what do we have in here? That stuff is just so soft. It's not normal. Oh, oh, this is cool. And it's cool as well. Like this little double set. <gasps> this is cool. That's little like a definite set. plain, plain yeah. moment. Oh, love this. Fabulous. Gosh, great. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that is it for our unboxing Tuesday. We have a busy day today because Pierre and I have had a mission. <laughs> how long? This is like, a, well, actually, since it launched. Maybe I should check how much when it launched, but I feel like it's been two months. Listen, I have a bone to pick with you, delicious Liana. <laughs> Because I really wanted your new cups. Saw them on your Instagram with the goo oozing out and everything. <laughs> and we couldn't find them anywhere. They were sold out everywhere. everywhere. It was so annoying. So today we're going to try again. I know it looks like I've just been crying, but I put in my <laughs> contacts and it makes my eyes and my nose go all watery. If anyone has any tips for that, actually, please let me know. I'm going to put on this perfume, which I have been loving today from By Killian. It's called Kissing Burns. It's, it's actually called the Kissing Fragrance, but it says Kissing Burns, 6.4 calories a minute, want to work out. It is literally the nicest fragrance ever. And you don't even need, normally I like douse myself in fragrance, but it's just so girly and fun that's how i would describe it oh and it smells like it smells like sweets and candy and it just actually smells like you know that feeling you get when you kiss someone <laughs> and you're just really excited about it that is what this smells like it's so it's just such an exciting fragrance that's the only way i can describe it and the packaging is really cute as well i I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I haven't really gone into any Baikalian fragrances before, but oh, this smells so good. Okay. Deliciously helicopters. Where are we? And I found them. We only got the chocolate ones there. Okay, so double chocolate ones. Let's get two of those. And off we go. And we got them. I got it! <laughs> and they only had the chocolate one that I wanted. Oh my god, I'm dead. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> 20 past 11 next week. This is so exciting. Oh my god. Okay. okay. I 
I can't believe they've ran out the other flavour. The other flute, yeah. I thought you wanted that one more. But they only have this one. Really? Okay, let's see. Okay. Cheers. Here you go. What does it look like? Oh, okay. Okay. She's tried to do healthy Reese's pieces. Okay. Chin! I said chin. Sorry, that's good. That is actually. I'm happy with that. Same. Much better than her nut butter balls. Those were horrific. Okay, that's really good. These are amazing. Damn, I should have got more. I've got one more. These are actually really good. I knew the double chocolate would be good. I'm not sure about them, how the almond will be. That's amazing. Oh my god. It is like really gooey. Mm. I'm happy with Let's that. See what's inside. It's date syrup on the inside. Mm. Dark chocolate, roasted almond butter, maple syrup, salt. Oh. That is good. Mm. Should we eat the other one? Mm. Oh. They're so they, cute though. They are look good. Look how cute they are. Do you know what? They look a bit smaller than I thought they'd yeah, be. Yeah, same. They look way bigger on her Instagram post. Yeah, Don't that was be sneaky. deceived, guys. <laughs> We're the true yeah. reviewers. No, they're so good. Love you, Bella. This is this is the one and only but snack that I would invest in from her. Mm. Yummy. Oh, great. Like the Instagram. Mm. It's mm. dripping. Mm. That is good. Yeah. Phenomenal form from Anna. Yeah. I rate that. Mm. If the almond aren't there, do you think Maybe the almond is better? <laughs> wow. What a phenomenal start to the day. Jokes, it's 11.30. <laughs> Bravo, Ella. Well done, Ella. Round of applause for Ella. <laughs> oh my god, those are so good. The aftertaste I really like as well. It tastes like you've had a chocolate pudding. Mm. Yes, like a chocolate fondant. Like the ones, yeah, exactly. With oh, the melt in the middle. Ella, mm. come through, because all your other crap has been totally <laughs> shit so far. Actually, you know what? Her raspberry ball things that my mum loves mm. aren't that bad. But they're just not amazing. It's These are amazing. Like, it's dry, is what it is. Yeah. And These it's dry. are gooey. These yeah. are actually gooey. And the but I have a is feeling like a if you refrigerated those, that wouldn't be as good because you wouldn't have the gooeyness of it. Yeah. Maybe if people put them in the fridge, they don't like them as much. Yeah, why would you refrigerate them? I don't Did, know. This, this is a big question. Do you refrigerate your chocolate, yes or no? Yes. You're a freak. <laughs> Why? I don't know. My friend, she puts everything in the fridge or the freezer. So she puts sweets in the freezer so that they're like sucky sweets. It's bizarre. Actually, but it actually you know works. What? I love stale Haribo. Mm. So if you put it in the freezer, it probably goes stale. Exactly. Like tasting, but not actually stale. Yeah. But then you get like a cool. Like it's like an ice cream type because it's cool. Yeah. It's cold. It's okay, like... sweets. I kind of understand chocolate. You just lose the flavour. No, you actually, you're right. Your mouth. But then again, I really don't have chocolate that often anymore. Strike two. Just <laughs> <laughs> you're a freak. Strike two. Oh my gosh! I literally like. If chocolate's oh, yeah, in yeah. the freezer, it just doesn't taste of any. In the fridge, it just doesn't taste of any. No, that is true. Although, if you so just leave it in your mouth, it like melts. Okay, then like, you get it longer. I kind of see what you mean on that. Point. Yeah. That was really worth the wait, actually. I'm quite thrilled. I, yeah. You know what? These, like, they're not marketed. They shouldn't be marketed, I feel like they are, a bit as, mm. like, healthier for you because they have coconut sugar in them when, like, that's still refined sugar. It's the same. But they do taste great if you can't have like Reese's cups because and it has all those like grotty e numbers and stuff in it yeah then and like all those weird preservatives I mean let's face it it's still gonna be a go-to snack isn't it what Reese's cups no not Reese's cups oh, these. but those no I mean like these are better than mm. Reese's cups because they don't have all the e numbers in them but they're not healthy but they're not great they're still not amazing a oh, carrot's definitely okay. better. A, ca a, a cucumber. Carrot. Do you know what? I've a been loving a root carrots. vegetable. 
carrots and hummus are oh, my go-to thing. It's such thing. a good snack. It is so. The hummus is really filling as well. Yeah. It? yeah. It is so good. What about a good old tomato? Tomatoes are my favourite. Or if you have tomato and basil, just make a little sandwich of like wrap the basil around the tomato oh, and just cute. have it like that. I love that. That's a nice little outfit. I saw the best looking burrata the other day. <laughs> and I was literally just dribbling. <laughs> yeah, like, actually, where was uh, it? <laughs> it was on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> The oh best God, oh looking man in it. Was an extremely good looking burrata. <laughs> Alright, I am now on my way to my first work event of September. I'm going to a lunch with Vestiaire Collective, which is a website I have shopped on for quite some time. You might remember my latest. Well, not latest, one of my favourite, <laughs> most worn Chanel bags I bought from there maybe like a year ago. And I think we're doing a swap shop today and uh, influencer lunch, I'm just walking there. Oh my god, Dad, look at this cute little car outside the event, it's so cute! And here's where we are going, Frenchy Covent Garden. Never been here before. How do I get in, I guess, here? unless I can't open the door. There we go. Found myself over here. So pretty. Opposite my Suze. Hi Suze and her bag. Hi bag. Wow, you're so pretty too. Love you. Susie's having a look at the swap shop. That's so cute. I love how you've found me my thing already. That's the cutest thing. That's so pretty. And all sparkly and shimmery. Just had a meeting with Bentley. But she's walking home and walked past all the cars. Hi, Dolly. Morning. <laughs> Sorry. Can I show you the dress I got at the Vestiaire swap shop? Yeah. So basically, because you know on Vestiaire, just in the middle of the street, no problem. <laughs> you know on Vestiaire, they do authentication. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, for items under 180 pounds, so 200 euros, they don't need to. They've started something called direct shipping, where you don't need to get them authenticated, so it's more like eco-friendly and easier to shop, and it's called direct shipping, and you get it faster as well. This is so, so cute. We had a swap shop. This is from Love Shack Fancy. How cute! I love that. Susie literally found it for me, and it has a little velvet oh, this low is so back you. bow. She was like, Susie was like, this is Amelia, and like came over and gave me this. Wait, did so they have all the dresses out, and you just yeah, got to go over like and pick? Yeah, swap shop. How cute! Cute. And then ate your bag. Yeah, and it has a little lavender in it. This was lavender. Little... I'm not filming you. I'm sorry. sorry. Lavender is my favorite smell. Is it? My mum hates it. I love it. Good angle. Like it's just me and you in the studio this morning, Dolly. Where is Camille? Oh my God, I forgot to tell you. Camille's boyfriend was at a club in Ibiza and he was speaking to someone. He was like, yeah, my girlfriend's a dancer. And she was like, oh, is she Camille Sharp? Does she dance with me, Liliana? Yay. How funny is that? She'll tell you the story better. Let me show my outfit of the day. One second. We have my aloe yoga bra which is a little pinky then this lululemon top which is a bit too big for me and these new leggings which have cute little yellow stars on the side and my nike leggings i am very unfit i haven't worked out in almost three weeks <laughs> well water skiing but that doesn't really, it's not like high intensity for so long you know and then after this we have a meeting with skinny dip which are nearby morning Morning. <laughs> not feeling it today. No, we need. I need to wake up. Me 
eating time. We tried to make ourselves look a bit less sweaty and grim post dance. You How did we fine. do? You look dolled up. Do I? Lit. Dolly? <laughs> I left it last <laughs> time. I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. We're going in for a meeting now. Oh, a bit out of breath. And um, have a couple of samples in my bag that we need Hello. to go through. Hey. Oh, this is hearts. literally why we come in yeah. for meetings. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, no straws though. We need to complain. That's like straws. Complain to head office. Mm -hmm. Head office. Where are your straws? <laughs> I have got myself a new phone case that I stole from Skinny Dog Poppers. It's part of their Mean Girls collab. It says, you're like really pretty and it's mirrored. And I love how you change the accent. You're, yeah, you have to say it in a Regina you're George like, accent. You're like really pretty. Yes. Hello, mister. You need a haircut. You're so lovely. You're so lovely. I can see your little tail. Oh my gosh. The most exciting delivery just arrived. This is a very food related vlog. I could have wait for you. Sorry, I already opened it. Basically, I found on Instagram a girl that I know has started making granola and I was drooling all over her feed. Her Instagram name is Ellie's Granola. I was drooling all over her feed. She makes all these different types of granolas and I love granola, but whenever I get it, like I got the deliciously yellow one, I found it so dry. Like it took me like 25 minutes just to like chew it. This is amazing. Oh. Oh my god, I have the coconut almond granola, I mean it's 6.30 and I have some granola but I had to try it. Ooh, it goes off on the 20th, what day is it today? Oh the 11th, oh we have time, <laughs> it's going to be a long gone before then. And this is the peanut butter granola, let's see, mmm. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm chewing, but this stuff really melts in your mouth. It is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be eating this for breakfast tomorrow or for dinner <laughs> tonight. I like it equally to the coconut almond one, which is definitely like my top flavor that I want to try. She does loads of flavors and I think she posts recipes as well. So I'll leave the details down below because oh, that's so exciting. I love granola. This is the best granola I've ever had. The best. Oh my gosh. Wow. Emma. Doesn't have sugar in it either. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Morning. It is Friday morning today. I am getting ready to go to the gym and I thought I would actually have some of this Ellie's granola for breakfast. Guys, this didn't last long. This was the peanut butter one. I don't even like peanut butter. Hannah loves peanut butter so we kind of shared it but there's literally like a mini spoonful left and that's only because I was like, no, no, we can't have finished it already. Let's save some. <laughs> so we ended up saving a spoonful. Very good, but I think I'll have this one for breakfast, the coconut almond one. I'm just in love, in love with it. Anyway, what was I gonna tell you about today? Oh, I have something exciting to share. Let me just get a bowl. I actually want to put this on my Insta stories also, so let me just do that. People normally get very annoyed when I, oh, I didn't have my probiotic. Oh, the drama. No, 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 no. Just have it on an empty stomach. I have so many pills that I get really good at having them without um, water, <laughs> before you're wondering. Though. No. So, I've been doing a bit of a 
summer to autumn clear out. As you know, I'm living with my sister at the moment and I am looking for a place to live by myself. But as I've been doing a clear out, I have found a couple of things that I haven't actually even worn and I thought it'd be really good. I thought about selling them, then I thought it'd be really good to do as a giveaway. So I have two things. Both of them are, drum roll please, handbags. <laughs> So I thought it would be actually kind of nice to give away these handbags. Let me bring them. Now, I've only ever given away one handbag before. It was the Gucci Soho Disco bag. And it wasn't actually mine. I just ordered it to the winner's house. So these I have not worn. I have this bag, but this isn't the bag that I have. And this I have something similar of. So I'm actually giving away two bags. This one's a summery bag, so I'm sorry to give it to you late but it's from Kalt Gaia and as you know I love my Kalt Gaia bag and this is one of their new season styles which I think is gorgeous I just had something really similar that's why I just never got around to wearing it and then I was like okay I'll sell it and then I was like no I'll do it as a giveaway and then someone will be really happy to have it I'm sure this one I actually probably prefer because of the handles and it opens like this Kalt Gaia bags I can't remember how much they retail for I think around 400 pounds now I can't really remember. Hold on. Okay, I can't find this particular one on the website, but it's around £100, I would presume, based on the other one. This bag, I love. It's such a summer staple for me. I wore my version of that a lot. The second bag is an Aspinall bag. Oh, I don't want to open the, the like seal thing, you know? It's sealed. I don't want to open it. We'll take it out. But what I'm going to do is I have this bag. As I have this bag, is I'm going to insert pictures of the bag here. So that way the person that wins it can open it up all nice, you know? And I'm not going to break the little seal on the bag. But to win these bags, I'm going to do two separate giveaways. Both of them on Instagram because it's like against YouTube rules or something to do giveaways on actual YouTube platform. So to win the Aspinall London bag, how much is this bag? This bag, I just looked it up, it's 600 pounds. It's 595 pounds. Wow. So to win this bag, the Aspinall London one, what you have to do is make sure you are following me on Instagram and post a picture of my feed onto your Instagram stories and tag me and use the hashtag Amelia Liana giveaway. If you want to use my Amelia Liana gif as well, the little giveaway gif, you can do that too. And then for the Carl Gaia bag, if you comment on my latest post using the hashtag Amelia Liana vlogs, and I will pick a winner this time next week. They're open internationally. I will ship them anywhere they need to be shipped. So I hope that's kind of exciting. I'm excited about like these bags and giving them away. I don't know if I should do more giveaways or what you guys think are like good giveaways. Let me know in the comments. That's gonna be it from me this week. This was a bit of a like what I did this week sort of vlog. I'm going dancing again this morning. I go twice a week. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm actually posting our routine that we learned the other day on my Instagram today. So if you wanna see the full routine, head over to my Instagram and you can see it there. But that's gonna be everything. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my granola. I've been like eating, talking, eating, talking, eating, talking, and now I'm just gonna eat. And I eat my granola dry, by the way. This granola is so moist, I really don't need to make it wet even though like normal people do that. But I like my granola dry anyway, but this one's actually really soft. Anyway, <laughs> too many sexual innuendos, innuendos in one's end. I'm gonna go and I will see you next Sunday for another video. Bye guys.